Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, we are going to see how you can use YouTube automation inside Pavli Connect. So we are going to have a look on all the triggers and actions of YouTube which we have inside Pavli Connect and how they works and how you can use them in your automation workflows to automate your YouTube related tasks. So let's begin by creating a simple workflow. Let's click on create workflow and let's give this workflow a name as YouTube. Click on create. Now all of you must be aware of the principle of automation that is triggers and actions where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So let's first have a look on all the triggers of YouTube which we have inside Public Connect. So here in choose app search for YouTube. Select YouTube. And after that in drop down you can see a list of all the trigger events. So the first trigger event which we have is new video in channel with video URL. So if you use this trigger event inside Public Connect of YouTube and connect your YouTube account, whenever a new video on your YouTube channel will be uploaded, the details of that video with the video URL will be automatically received inside your Public Connect workflow and your automation workflow will be triggered. It will be initiated. The next trigger which we have is new comment on a channel. So using this trigger event guys, whenever you will receive a new comment on your YouTube channel, the details of that comment like the user who has commented it, what was the comment, actual comment and what was the date and time and other details of that comment will be received inside Pavli Connect and your automation workflow will be triggered on that particular event. After that, you can basically set up any automation workflow, any kind of use case according to your choice and automate your tasks. The next trigger which we have is new comment on a video. So using this trigger, the second trigger on new comment on channel, you will get the details of all the comments on your channel. But if you want to set up your automation workflow or if you want to trigger your automation workflow on receiving a comment on a specific video, then you can use this trigger as well. So new comment on a video using this trigger event, you can basically specify and get the details of the comments on a specific video on a particular video. The next two events, next two trigger events are basically the same, but these two versions of these comments like new video in channel and new video in channel with video URL is the updated version. So these two trigger events are going to deprecate soon. So you can just ignore these trigger events for now. So right now we have three trigger events of YouTube inside Pavli Connect using which you can trigger, you can initiate your automation workflow. Let's run one of the trigger events. So let's select this new video in channel with video URL. Select this trigger event. And after that, let's connect our YouTube account. So connecting our YouTube account is very simple guys. Just click on this connect button, select add new connection and click on this connect with YouTube button. Now after this guys, you will see in a new tab, it will ask us to select our Google account or YouTube account. Just select your account, scroll down and click on continue. And that is it guys. We have successfully connected our YouTube account with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, it is most likely possible that you have created multiple YouTube accounts on your Google account, on the same Google account. So in the drop down below, you will see a list of all the YouTube channels which you have on your YouTube account. So right now I have only one channel. That's why it is showing us this channel demo channel, which I have created the name of my YouTube channel. But if you have created multiple accounts, multiple channels on YouTube, you will see a list of all those channels over here. So from here, you have to select that for what channel you are tracking these details, for what channel you want to set up this trigger event. And after this, when you will click on this save and send test request button, the details of the most recent video, the last video which I have uploaded on my YouTube channel with the video URL, the details of that video will be received inside Pavli Connect. So let's click on save and send test request and check this. And yes, here in Pavli Connect, you can see we have received some response. And this is the response of the last video which I have uploaded on my YouTube channel. So here you can see that on my YouTube channel, this was the last video named as beautiful video on beautiful earth. And here you can see the details of the same video, the same title description. We also have the URL, the link of the video of the same video and other details like the thumbnail and all of those things, the upload date and time and all of those things over here in the response. So in this way, you can connect your YouTube account and set up your trigger event for your automation. Now after trigger events, so guys, the next thing which we have is actions. So let's have a look at what are the action events we have of YouTube inside Public Connect and how you can use them. So here in action event, search for YouTube once again, select YouTube. And after that, here in action event in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the action events which we have. 
So let's start with the first one that is list channel video. So using this action event guys in your automation workflow in response, you will get a list of all the videos which you have on your YouTube channel. So if you want to get the list of all the videos, just use this action event. The next action event which we have is list video by ID. So if you want to get the details of a specific video from your YouTube channel, you can use this action event over here. You just have to enter the ID of the video whose details you want to get and in response you will get a list of all the details of that particular video. The third one which we have is list playlist item. So if you want to get all the videos of a YouTube playlist then you can use this action event over here. So you just have to select your YouTube channel and the playlist whose details you want to get and after that in response you will get a list of all the videos from that particular playlist. The next one is list video comments. So using this action event guys, you will get a list of all the comments which you have on a specific video. So it will retrieve the comments, the, all the comments or the data of all the comments of a particular video. The next is get comment by ID. So likewise, we have an action event of list video by ID. Using this action event of get comment by ID, you just have to enter the comment ID. Like every comment we post on YouTube, there is a specific unique comment ID for each and every comment. So you just have to enter the comment ID of that comment and then in response, you will get the details of the comment, like who has posted that comment, what was the detail, what was the text of that comment and what was the date and time and other details as well. The next one is list video category. So guys, YouTube basically categorize video on the basis of the region and the content which you create. So if you want to get a list of all the categories which you have in your region on YouTube, then you can use this action event. So while uploading a video, you must have mentioned the category of the video as well, that in which category of YouTube this video which you are uploading or publishing falls. So using this action event, you can get a list of all the categories which you have. The next one is post a comment. So using this action event guys, you can actually post a comment on any of your own videos and it will be a top level comment. That comment will be on top of all the comments which you have on your existing video. The next one is upload video and this is my personal favorite. So using this action event, you can actually start uploading the video on your YouTube channel. Now suppose guys, you have added the video file, the media file of the video which you want to publish on YouTube into one of your cloud storage platform. So from that, I have created an automation workflow, for example, from Google Cloud or Dropbox, that whenever I upload the file over there, automatically this automation triggers and then it will upload the same video file on my YouTube channel. But this action video in one go will upload only 400 MBs of the video and it will approximately take 6 to 8 minutes. But guys, if you have a video greater than 400 MB in size, for example, till the size of 2 GBs, 2 gigabytes, then you must be thinking how you can upload that video using this automation and this action event. So for that, we have the next action event that is get video upload status. So when you use this action event of upload video, it initiates the uploading of the video on our YouTube channel. Then after this guys, approximately you just have to add a delay of 8 minutes. And then you have to use this action event of get video upload status guys. So using this action event, you will get the actual status that how much video has been uploaded. And if it is not completely uploaded, then it will be resume uploading from that point where this action event has left. So in this way, guys, you can basically keep on adding delays of eight minutes and keep on using this action event of get upload status, using which you will get the actual status of the uploading of the video. And also it will keep on resuming the uploading of the video till it is completely uploaded. So using these two action events, it just completely automates the process of uploading the video on my YouTube channel. The next one is set thumbnail and this is also pretty amazing. So using this action event, I actually add the thumbnail image of my YouTube video using the automation. So I have an automation using which from a Google sheet guys, it actually gets the details of the video using switchboard canvas or some other application, other image building or thumbnail building application. I automatically generate the thumbnail and using this action event, it will automatically add that thumbnail to one of my YouTube videos. Thumbnails are automatically updated. 
The next one which we have is reply to comment. So using this action event, you can actually reply to the comments which you get from a user on your YouTube channel. So I have created an automation using artificial intelligence platform like OpenAI that whenever I get a comment on my YouTube channel using OpenAI, I get the reply, I generate the reply for that particular comment and using this action event of reply to comment, I automatically reply to those comments of the users as well and within no time. The next one is update video details and as it says it basically updates the basic details of our YouTube video like if you want to update the title description tags or thumbnail of the video you can use this action event and update all of those things as well. The next two action event which we have is delete a video and delete a comment. So using these action steps you can actually delete the video and comment as it say itself. And the last one is get channel stats. So using this action event, you can actually get the statistics, the analytics data of your YouTube channel in your automation workflow in response. And guys, the process of connection is exactly the same as trigger. So here guys, you can see that I've selected this action event of get channel stat. Just click on connect, select add new connection and click on connect with YouTube to make the connection. And because we have just now made a connection in the trigger event of our YouTube account with Pabli Connect, in action or in any other step guys, we just don't have to make a new connection once again. You can select the existing connection which we have recently made and just click on see. And with the last connection, with the recent connection which you have selected, your YouTube account will get connected with Pabli Connect. Then it is asking us YouTube channel ID that we have to enter the channel ID of our YouTube account or YouTube channel whose stats we want to get. And when you click on save and send test requests, it will get the stats of that YouTube channel. So in this way guys, you can automate your YouTube related tasks using Pabli Connect. So we have discussed all the triggers and actions of YouTube which we have inside Pabli Connect and which you can use to automate your YouTube related tasks using Pabli Connect. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.